Ashley, good morning. Good morning. So Hello. you were, you were dating this man for how long? So I would never say we were officially dating, but we were definitely like in an intense talking stage. We met okay. online. We had never met in person, but we were setting up plans to meet in person. Sure. Okay. And... It just it seemed like every time we initiated something to be in person, there was always an excuse as to why he couldn't meet. He would say, "Hey, my sister's really sick. Sure. She has mm. cancer. No. She's in the hospital. I need to be with my family." And he yep. would cancel. Okay, I understand that. Then he would set something up again. It was always initiated from him the setup, and then it was always canceled because he had to be with his sister. Well, one day I got ghosted, never heard from him again, and I'm like, you know what? Maybe his sister passed away, and he's, like, really having a hard time with this, so I'll just give him space. But out of curiosity, I looked up an obituary, and his sister was dead the entire time. No! So he was lying, like, about, oh like, oh, she, she's gosh. not doing well, but she had been in the ground for, like, a while. Wow. Yeah, it, she had passed away, like, four months prior, and I was his coping mechanism. Oh, really? God. oh my God, what a okay. douche. All right, uh, Ashley, so hold on one sad. second. You were in the running. That's oh. a horrendous, horrendous yeah. one. Yeah. Mm. Let me go uh, on the flip side of that. DJ, good morning. Hey, how you doing? So were we actually hey. dating this uh, this girl? What happened? Well, it was like one of those three-day weekends, so me and my family were going to go to North Carolina to see family, so... We asked what she doing the weekend. She said nothing. So we left Thursday after everybody got off of work so to come back on Monday. And Sunday and Saturday, they said it's going to be a hurricane or a tornado coming, so we decided to leave on Saturday. Got back home. I called to see what she was doing. Nobody answered. I called back. I was like, yeah, can I speak to Isis? They said she can't come to the phone right now. The wedding's going on. I'm like, who getting married? They said her and Mr. Johnson. Oh, my God. Wow. What the hell? This chick said she wasn't doing anything but cash and left out. She was Yay. getting married. Oh, my God. Yeah, basically. Big oh, thing to leave out. DJ, yeah. how long were y'all, like, talking for? About 10 months. Oh, what? my God. And, like, did you ever talk to her again? Or we just, like, go with that? She called me late on that night crying, talking about she's sorry and all this and oh, all that. I just uh, hey. Yeah, that's okay. All here. right. DJ, Dang. hold on one second. You wow. were in the running. Uh, let me go. Marco, good morning, sir. Hey, good morning, John. How you doing, man? Dude, I'm doing well, man. This is, um, so this is freshman year college. <laughs> All right, man. So I'm calling from Gainesburg. Uh, I'm on my way to work, actually, to Ortho Bethesda. Hell yeah. Uh, shout, out to my, shout out to my people out there. But, um, yeah, man, I got a crazy one for you. So I was dating my ex-girlfriend for probably a year, a little over a year at the time. She was upset that I was uh, going on a trip to Miami with my friends. I've known them since I was in elementary school. And so, you know, planned it out, stayed there for about four or five days. The moment I touched down to South Beach, she sends me a, a she texts me a picture, and it's a picture of a pregnancy test, and it's positive. Oh, my God, no. She's pregnant. Yeah, so I'm pretty much like, okay, I, I guess I, I have these few days. Yeah. And, you know, I get back. She never brought it up, you know? She never, ever brought it up. <laughs> three, three, four weeks go by, and I'm like, hey, are, are we, you know, did you go to the doctor? What's going on? And I was dissecting the picture, too. It was very sketchy. And come to find out, she wasn't pregnant. She just wanted to ruin my trip in Miami. Oh, wow, my a, God. There's a special place Wait, for that. Marker, wow. how long did we stay with her after the trip? Whew. I'm sorry? How long did we stay with her after the trip? <laughs> Maybe like another six months. Man. Okay, yeah. but but here's why, Marco, because she was really hot, wasn't she? Oh, stop. Yeah, you know, I tried to give her the benefit of the doubt, man. I was. Yeah. Oh I my gosh. Know, I, yeah. I, but I, I just man. realized I let too many things, too many crazy things fly. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Thank oh, you, yeah. pregnancy. All love. right, uh, uh, Marco, hold on one second. You were in the running. It's gonna be tough to beat these. Okay, hold on a second. Uh, Angela, good morning. Oh. Good morning. You had an ex-boyfriend tell you what? Uh, I had an ex tell me a lot of things. I actually found out I was dating a pathological liar. Mm -hmm. um, Been there. But I, the biggest lie he told me was that he had macular degeneration and that he was slowly going blind. No! And so uh, what was the point of telling what? you that? Just to get sympathy or to like make Ugh. up a, uh, an excuse for something else? Um, sympathy for everything. He was an alcoholic. Mm -hmm. um, he told me 
Well, one of the things he told me about going blind is that he thought that he wanted to marry me sooner because he was afraid that he wouldn't be able to see me walking down the aisle. Wow. Oh, my gosh. What an idiot. Now, listen, oh, my God. I, horrendous thing to lie about. Yeah. But yeah. Like, Stop. No, I'm, John, like, I'm, don't even. But, like, that's a pretty sweet line if he wasn't lying. Like, that's, like, but, like, like that, that, were, that is. If, if, if yeah, telling yeah, the right. truth. A very Nicholas Sparks-esque. He, but it's, uh, okay. Yeah, so, he also lied that his mother was dead, found ah. out she was not dead yeah. and alive. No. Yeah. That worked for a special ops company that sure. um, did high profile security. Sure. And mm. that he sure. had PTSD from shooting somebody while protecting that family. Oh, okay. Good. Yeah. 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 She so, was crazy. And, 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 Gosh, okay. Yeah. All right, Angel. Hold Yay. on one second. Yeah, um, yeah that's that's a, a lot. Yeah, I thought wild. my exes were yeah. bad. Let Lord. me go. Uh, Bridget, good morning. <laughs> Hello. How are you? I'm doing well. So you found your ex dancing at a club with somebody, and he told you what? He told me he was his twin brother and Oops. literally pulled out his wallet with an ID that had a completely different last and first name. So the did first, friends were there. Okay, yeah. Buddy. Did he have a twin brother? No, he had no siblings okay. at all. I had known him since high school. It- <laughs> what? You, oh my God. How can you? I can't. So did, did he just have a fake ID or is he like running a ring or something? It was a fake ID. I, I saw three in there when he pulled that out. So now I'm like, oh, well, I guess I, I made out good. I don't know what in the world he had those for, and uh, I'm happy. Oh, oh wow. my. I mean, the twin card, it's hard to pull if somebody's known you, you know, your right? entire like, that's life. That's what yeah. got me the most out of yeah, that. That's, oh, my uh, God. Okay, Bridget. The confidence. Oh. Right. <laughs> okay, the audacity. Hold on one second, Bridget. You are in the running. Let me go. Uh, Jose, <laughs> Jose, good morning, sir. Good morning. Uh, yes, I um, was seeing this girl for three years on and off, kind of like a play from the gym. Sure. And she asked me... She asked me, you know, we would get together, and and uh, I got her an apartment right away. to be a place for her and her children. She told me, and and uh, I never really questioned. I said, yeah, let me do this because she didn't have the papers at the time. So I got her the apartment, and then I forgot all about it and let her go with her business. And she would call me every now and then. We'd get together at my place, and then one time she asked me right before I got married. I said. Um, she asked, I got this water bill, which was not water, but gas bill, which was about $900. And I was like, where the hell did this come from? You know, and I'm like, try to figure it out. So uh, I get the call from her and she's like, yeah, I got to pay you for the water bill, you know, and uh, I need you to do me a favor. And I said, okay. Um, she's like, take me to the bus station and pick up my cousins. We get there and I'm like, your cousins, huh? And she's, mm. you know, these girls were about 18 or 24. Um, and she said, I said, well, what about your cousins? What their names? She didn't know their names. She didn't know her cousin's uh, names. Okay. okay. She didn't know her, their cousin's names. So I said, what do you really do? And she said, I got to be honest with you. She said, uh, I'm a madam. Oh. Ah. Okay. Oh. That's a switch. So she cool. was, she was, was running like a, uh, an escort like service. Like a ring in the area. <laughs> like an escort service in the area. And she even asked me, and I said, look, I'm getting married in the next three weeks, and I want to cut this off. I don't want to see you ever talk to you again because I also teach. And she was asking me at the time to, uh, if I could find her some girls from school. This is high school. Oh, my God. So she was searching I, talent? Oh, my God. I said, I said, let me just get off this relationship. Yeah. And yeah. I'm getting married anyway. Yeah. Okay. Oh. All right. Jose, Ooh. hold on one second. You're run. That's a huge thing to leave out is that you're running an escort <laughs> well, service. Well, good yeah. morning. Okay. You can uh, vote for your favorite over text 99338. You got John's little secret coming up in a second. You have a secret. Mm. You have a confession, something. You just want to get off your chest. I have this dude who wants to talk about him and his girl, I guess, having OnlyFans, and they make uh, bank, by the way. We'll talk to them in a second. Overwhelmingly, a text coming in uh, voting for Marco with the fake pregnancy test from your ex to get back from a spring break trip. You won the capital tickets, my friend. Hey, John. Appreciate that, man. Wow. Now, listen, dog, you earned it.